Now I want to talk about the Shop Analyzer tool within Craft Inspector, as you can see here. So all you have to do is just enter in a shop name right up here, and then uh, Craft Inspector will go out and analyze all the sections and the products for that entire shop. So let me show you how that works. First, what I want to do actually, just head on over to Shop Search, or you can do it in Product Search as well. But let's say in Shop Search, you're searching for um, something to do with, uh, look for shops that contain the word shirt in their name. So maybe you're um, a print on demand shirt uh, designer and that's what you do, you sell that kind of stuff on the internet and you wanna do some research using Etsy or maybe you actually have your own Etsy shop and that's what you're doing. But let's just take a look and what you can do is you can you know search by the number of sections or items and sections and whatever you wanna do and do all your filtering and whatnot. And now let's say for example, I want to investigate um, let's look at one that doesn't have too many um, items so we can just show how it works. So let's look at this one here. It has 77 um, items and nine shop sections. So if I just double click that, what we do is you right click and you can send that over to the shop analyzer. And you can see it puts the name in there and now we can go ahead and analyze it. So now what it's doing, it went out and it grabbed all this important information here. So the name, the owner, the number of listings, the sections, the number of hearts that shop has, sales, reviews, uh, location, title, and also if there's any external links given for that particular shop. Now it does what it does, so it grabs all of the data and what it's now it's doing, it's grabbing the information from each and every one of the products within all the sections of their store. Now it does take a while if you have a lot of products in the store, but you do have the options up here too if you only want to look at say the first five pages of products on the given store and not all of them. So if they had say like 20,000 products, you probably only want to look at like the first 100 or 200 products or something like that. And that's what you'd want to do there. But now that we have everything in here, we have all that awesome data that we can get from the product search, but now we have it all in here. Now I want to show you some of the extra things you can do in here. You, know, still, you can still do the stuff like you can view the images directly within the actual grid if you want. You can also preview them in HTML table. So you can just hover over and look at all the products as usual. And you can also do the, uh, the feed as well. So you can see in the feed option. And now here's another really powerful feature in here. You can group the actual data by shop section. If we do that, now you can see each shop section. So now you can see in here we've got botanicals, monograms, and initials, Mother's Day. And then to give you a summary underneath of that section. So let's say we want to analyze uh, the Retro Cities collection. So you select that and you can see all the different things underneath. But what's awesome is you can see the average price, the average rating, the average hearts, per item, and you get that data right away just by looking at it when it's grouped. So you can see all, and you can sort in, within each group if you'd like. But here's something really cool. So let's say, for example, you're interested in seeing everything in this particular group, the Retro States Collection. And what you wanna do actually is you wanna like analyze the tags. So over here, what you can do is you can go analyze and select product tags and now I can analyze the product tags for that entire section within that store. So now we're really pinpointing some really powerful information here. We can see that the word retro and cotton and vintage, these words occurred like a lot, almost actually 100% of all the listings those words occurred in, giving it a certain amount of hearts per tag, which gives you an idea of how valuable that actual tag can be in the marketing of that product. Now these tags can also be very valuable information just for researching keyword ideas and things like that for you, for your actual niche if you're selling outside of Etsy on e-com sites or something like that or even like print on demand sites like Teespring or Gearbubble. So these kind of things really help try to pinpoint awesome information. And you also can look at the keyword the the keywords within the product titles as well. And I'm not sure if you could see there but it's down there. You can analyze product titles. So we're just looking at that one section. It just looks at the products that we've selected. Selected is the ones that have the check boxes. So now we can play with the words here. We can analyze the words and the titles, which is also very important. So we can look at different combinations, a number of words. So if we do like three words and generate, 
It shows you all the frequency of three word combinations that occur in all of those titles and gives you this valuable information like how many average hearts per uh, word combination is there. So you can see retro style vintage, style vintage look. These happen 100% in all those listings in that particular um, section. Now, if we ungroup, of course we can do all sections. If you select, you select everything, we can also analyze all of the product tags across the entire store, every product listed in all sections. That's very powerful. You can also analyze all the product titles all the way up to 10 words. So this particular <laughs> 10 word uh, number, uh, 10 word sequence here occurred 10 times, which is 13% of all the titles had that long word in it. So in the titles, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So you can really pinpoint how valuable certain words are sort of uh, in, in the product titles as well as the tags to help you in your research. Now I do have another one open here that analyzed a shop with much more items. So this one had 20 sections, 564 active listings. And these are all the web links. So you can quickly use those links to go research a little bit more about the company, about how the shop advertises in different locations like Facebook. You can look at their posts so it's a lot of very valuable information that you can collect from the software. And of course, you can group this whole thing just like before. And now we can see um, the most hearts, like this section here, birthday boy shirts got the most hearts. Hearts is a very strong indicator of how many sales they're getting because usually people only leave a heart after they buy something. So now we could go into this section here and we can analyze all of those products sorry, product tags, and start to uncover why those products are doing so well. We can also preview them in the feed or wherever you'd like. You can see just how awesome it is. You can sort it by sales. And as before, you can save all of this data to a file, a CSV file, a text file. You can export it to the interactive data files, HTML table or feed files. And like I mentioned before in the videos, you can be able to actually deliver these to your clients if you're doing research on behalf of clients. And of course, just like before, you can do all of the, the filtering and whatnot. Now, if you wanna view this on Etsy, you can just click this button right here in view. You can view their store directly there. And let's say you had a file saved for a long time and you wanna refresh all the data just in case they changed anything. What you can do is load the file. So if you saved it, so if I save this file, and let's clear it all out, say later on in a couple weeks or a month or something like that, you go and load that file back up. But I wanna see, I wanna get updated of all of the latest data for these products. What you do is use the more button, more data button, you select uh, extract data for all rows and it'll go back out and it'll start extracting all the data for each of those rows. So it's doing it right now in behind the scenes, but you can see here it's gone through. You're not seeing anything change on the screen because we just generated the file and there's nothing changed right now. But anyhow, you can stop that execution there. So whenever you see an execution happening, you'll, you'll see that little bar come up here and it'll stop. And you just click that to stop the execution, basically the extraction. And that's basically it for this tool. It's very powerful and you'll find it's very easy to use and you can really dig into why shops are doing so well and so successful. And you can try to model what other shops are doing in your e-com business. You know, you may not be running an Etsy store, but you, this data is so valuable for things like understanding what to price your products, how much to pay for shipping, what products are getting the really, really good high ratings and why you can really dig in and see why those things are happening by using this particular tool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.